Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Honorable adjudicators, Your Excellency the Committee, and our beloved the participant of Islamic English speech. First of all, the thanks to Allah, He is the creator of the, you see, this universe. He only do works, He only do ask for help. Salawat and salam we send to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He helped us from the darkness to the brightness. Thank you so much for giving time for me. My name is Surya Kumujaya. Today I will explain about the revolution of prostitution to industry creative from three point of view. I will explain all about it from three point of view. My first point of view is the disper the facts of the dispersing of candle. My second point of view is prostitution from point of view of Islam, and my third point of view is the contribution of university students to change the dark era of prostitution, and the fourth is the conclusion. First, I will explain about the facts of dispersing of gang dolly. According to Temple Doko, Dolly was a China cemetery in the era of colonialism. One of one of ex prostitute come from natural land. Her name is Dolly Pandermart. She came for, she came to Indonesia and she put prostitute in a gang dolly. She provided many Indonesian girls to work as a prostitute in a gang dolly. At the first time, the girls were only for Netherlands army, but gradually it changed. Many Indonesian try prostitute come from Indonesia, and know this. We know that Kantoli is the biggest prostitution in Indonesia, especially not in Indonesia, in Asia too. And then, according to Merdeka.com, 180 in 2012. They got each IV age, and then it decreased in 2030. 73 prostitutes got each IV age in 2030. Why? Because some houses were closed, and they got socialization about sex. Sex is a very dangerous, especially free sex. So they give the bad effect of sex. And then, according to Republic.co.id, many young girls in the near of Kentoli, in a junior high school and elementary school, they work as a prostitute. This is the bad effect of prostitution in the Kentoli, my lovely brothers and sisters. Think about it. How many Indonesian girls? They are is a very child, but they work as a prostitute. As something that it is a very dangerous. They can got each IV. Each IV is a hereditary disease. You know that. Hereditary disease is something that you never can cure it. It will bring from one generation to another generation, my lovely brothers and sisters. According to Tempo.co, who is the god, the bigger prophet of prostitution in a gang dolly? The prostitute? No. The answer is the Pimps and the honor of house. The pimps and the honor of house, they got 70% from the prostitute. And then the prostitute only got 30% of her salary. So it is a very horrible thing. So you can imagine that if she work at one night, she only got 200,000 rupiah, she only got 60,000 rupiah, and then the pimps and the owner of house, they got 140,000 rupiah. So actually, she got only a little money for her salary every day, my lovely brothers and sisters. And then, according to Republica, the code of IT, Cantoli will be dispersed by food at a billion thousand rupiah. Why? Because it will achieve the dark era of Cantoli to new era. Actually, we can imagine that from this money next time, Kentoli will change to a new era in, in the era of creative industry, actually. So, many across, before they work as a prostitute, they can got the new jobs in there. As something that is good and something that it is lawful for them. It's not unlawful like a prostitute, I think. So. More or less, this is my first point of view, and I will go to the next point of view. Second, I will explain about the prostitution from point of view of Islam. According to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
in the era of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, born a girl, she worked as a prostitute because her family was poor. She wanted to help her family. But when her family was dead, she walked alone from one village to another village to sell herself. But she failed. Nobody cared about her. And then she felt very thirsty and hungry. And she walked from one village to another village. And then one day she saw a well. She looked into the well. She saw a little water in the well. She tried to put up the water from the well, use her saw, her saw and her shoes. When she got the water, she wanted to run the water, but the dog came to her and she gave the water to the dog because the dog is thirsty. And then because this accident, she died, my lovely brothers and sisters. But God apologize her and give her opportunity to go to the heaven, my lovely brothers and sisters. And then according to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in Allah indeed Allah with someone who passionately. According from this story, we know that the key of life is passion. Prostitute in a cantoli, they are is only in the wrong way. Is they are is not in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are as the university student, we are as the Muslim. We need to help them to bring them back to the the right way, my lovely brothers and sisters. You are is the university students and you have opportunity to help them. And then according to occasion.com, someday something that happened in the Kantoli, something is some very different. Kantoli got a proselytizing from MH Ainunajib, or everyone call him Chaknun. Chaknun give a proselytizing about the, the differences, the good and the bad way. He want to try make they are aware about this is a good and this is a bad. And a prostitute is a something bad. He want to make the art a care about a prostitution is a wrong way. My lovely brothers and sisters, more or less this is my second point of view and I will go to the next point of view. Okay, I will explain about my third point of view. My third point of view is the contribution of university students to change the dark era of prostitution. Okay. According to my friend, Cornelius and Archidarma, they made a book to care about prostitution. Actually, this is in Gangtoli. There is a book called Toli Kisah Filu Yang Kelewatan. They try uh, to share to everyone in Indonesia, this is the real life in a Gangtoli. They want to make everyone in Indonesia care about Gangtoli with their a book. So many people in Indonesia, they can read this book and they can learn about Gangtoli, what happened in the real life of, of Gangtoli, my lovely brothers and sisters. And then, in my city, we have a non-governmental organization. It's called God. It's not the God a singer, but this is a non-governmental organization, my lovely brothers and sisters. In my university, especially the university students, they work in this organization because they want to care about HIV age in a Salatika city. Because HIV is not only access in the bigger city, but in Isolada village, it access too. Because in the near of Salatika, it has a like the Kantoli, but it's a more a little. It's called a Sarirajo or Sambir. So they are need to care all about them. They are a prostitute, they are God, each IV. So they are aware to make they are aware about each IV age is a very dangerous, my lovely brothers and sisters. And then one of 
very a popular a care about which IVH. Her name is Asti Susanti Budiono. She worked start in 1992 about HIV/AIDS. She uh, married a teach a uh, prostitute about HIV AIDS is a very dangerous and you never uh, can uh, be cured because if you get HIV AIDS you will uh, bring from uh, one year to another year and then according to my friend in a speakers out in Shira they are a uh, make a uh, one of socialization about sex the good sex not a free sex because a big good sex will uh, keep a bad effect with you and then, why we need to disperse gangly on 8 June 2014? When the gangly will be dispersed on 8 June 2014, I think that this is not the end of the era of gangly. We need to keep the struggle to change their mindset at the sex. They can make a prostitute in other place, but we need to give they are about education, that's important. We know that Surabaya is the second biggest city after Jakarta. We know that they have a traditional food. This is a popular a traditional food. It's called Rujak Chingor. We can teach them to make how to make a Rujak Chingor, my lovely brothers and sisters. They can learn to make a Rujak Chingor and they can sell the Rujak Chingor because According to Mrs. Umbra, she can uh, go to makeup and perform a pilgrimage in there because she only uh, sell Rucha Chingor. Every day she got 50,000 rupiah for one Rucha Chingor. So we can uh, calculate it. If uh, she uh, sell uh, for Rucha Chingor, it's like one night for a prostitute work at the night my lovely brothers and sisters. So, we are, as the university student, we need to help them. We need to care about them. You are, as the university student, you have a chance. Don't only ask what you want to, but use your real practice, my lovely brothers and sisters. In my conclusion, the revolution of prostitution industry created. We are, as the university student, we cannot phobia about prostitution, about Indonesian problems. So, we need to keep the struggle. We study every, every time. We need to give your best for this country. Because the founding father have a struggle. If you are as afraid about this a country, you never know what will happen in the future in this country, my lovely brothers and sisters. Ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. That's all. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.